ebusia ya be mmakwa aba shonko so ereba pog media so ya dem be ko political highway ni so highway ni de and sem be bi so aye so ya japan ni se be me abedwa fo no ahude e ko ene de e ba eye ndc e release emergency a year press conference, I was saying, I see a bunket here at the ensemble about the today about the delay of the what election. I just say, or more mounting heavy pressure on Jim Mensa, or much as a CCR and BBI them no credit through those a doctor about me. I crab about the asset defeat. Ain't you know, or more numbers names on a crown, no, a very legitimate Jim Mensa. I dream poor Bena, Waba, or per se, own person about the declare election. I was saying, ensemble brain or the two day and same on brain, a pepper, sir. Ebe mi abi jafon ebe mi akona ya kwa kuti ensema of course na answer ni ebe kono owo ensem kani bi afashe ya comment section ni mu like na she ma afufun so ensa into me and kabi aha a p o g media political trending stories are a makey way to know ya so ya di atumi se ya debe bremo beda masi. Ti di na onu na juma sorry. Eni ni obe kikansi eni na odi atuja. Neni pa gana fua tu ama omolo. Eh wa wa na uso. Eche se mranti eno. Eh wamu bosia na ese na omo bo. Se se bono. Eh trashi ebi. Se yangu taaki wei na tama owa owa ba imu wa ese impe yesu yangu yebi nti aneka. Eh hona mi mi bum. Na sabre ya. Womo eh ye de de se bo o hene a ye ye de na si su no bo ni di mi an ko na se wo mo no de mi mi ko ka se munye di a eh se mi ti ase se wo munye di na wo munwia ye enti ba bi adru no so bo no ena ndc for so ena meti me ka se ena mpp for so so if you say panino Wabeyi na nua free musa ono de wati asese wadi nkubo. Inti letra commission. Eni soja fuo. Ene o wamu ntem. Di enti ya wamu na onso. Nede de beba na soja fuo abo uro mni atutu atu ya kunku mni pano. Eye wamu ane nim. Eni nti asema wa hono no. Inti mede peace cancer fuo ti emia. Dear me, me catch your woman, say. You know, sign a pam. A pam, no chess, say, letter commission, be in a juma. Police, be in a juma. So, you know, I cast one sign here, one sign here, mobile share, say, and sign here, you sign it. So, you know, you say, you didn't check that, you have to do it. Why are you going to ask your coach and manager in a two to two? Say, Mama, say, Mama. Intimidate, they are made busy. Ne, as a resource, our dear mommy, me me nye letter commissioner, me declare. Me say, they are they are journey. MPP for some meji huwe chini. Member now so be biyani akase me interpret constitution na me koi. See, yeah, yeah, glad I'm moving the free move. Into more, now it's a visa via Omoa. Money I crash it for no, I can't move. I know I see, me damn it. Me did this, eh? I'm planning for a war, my mo. War mo de, war mo anu be kum. Now Jimin sano, onu a be free na numa manakase abatu onu zinzo anzo di akudruni. Na nemranti eh. Any Najuma and Fua, one more constituencies, no more, one more delay, delay, parliamentary election, no, and Tiasia be any Muson, or the message Bekama or Mayan and Temo Free, or Moyan and Tem Free, who be any war, or no more as in Bia. A better name from agitation to jubilation, as in Bia, the Damo. Right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So this ends this ends this segment of the press conference and very soon. Okay, so that's the chairman for the NDC, John Sinesidu, and Ketiano no so didn't come or abetujano. Well, I am sure say once I couldn't be any dear, the when you said there's a body that is mandated 
to just give that clearance. Now, I'm going to send you a They're my friends. I told them openly mm. that you need to get these things done. I had conversations with them way back last year, and we expected Nanado to take certain steps to actually at least give Bahumia a chance. Mm. I don't think Nanado ever wanted not uh, Bahumia to really have the chance that that would have given him an but, opportunity but to win. So, he so, so he didn't. So he didn't. this was more a, Look, so you, this you was more what a vote against. Nanado? I said this vote today was not against um, uh, what do you call it uh, Bahumia. Oh, Bahumia, yeah, sure. Bahumia was not on the ballot. Mm -hmm. John jo Mama was not even on the ballot. Mm -hmm. This ballot, the only person on the ballot is yeah. Nanado. Mm -hmm. It's Nanado. It is Nanado that we went to vote vote against. Okay. What are you talking about? Please hold on. He was given opportunity to do a number of... See, some 33 no. policies. He's These being, he are was, good he people. Was... I have to be honest with you. Hold on. He's a good man. Okay. Napo, okay. Napo, Napo people have their issues, but I've worked but, with him. Okay. It's, hold on. It, it is Nanado. Hold on, gentlemen. Office. Let me go to Christian yeah, Yali. He's at the headquarters of the NDC, and he's engaging some of the executives. Let's oh, listen to them. National head headquarters of the National Democratic Congress, the NDC. Just a while ago, the national chairman, John said, Asir Nketia, addressed the media calling on the Electoral Commission to expedite action on declaring the final result of the election. He makes the point that so far as the NPP's presidential candidate, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, has accepted defeat or accepted the outcome of the election, there is no reason uh, the, for the EC to continue to prolong the declaration. But what we also know is that at the National Coalition Centre, the Electoral Commission is waiting for the regional coalition of the result to trickle in and then the necessary action will be taken with almost all the party agents who have gathered there. I have with me Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer, who is the Deputy Director of Elections and IT for the NDC for a brief engagement. Let me start from here. Why this call? Why this moment? because we know that the EC is also awaiting results from the various regions to proceed. Yes. We... Oh. Yeah, proceed. Proceed for me. Proceed for me. Yeah. We can hear you. Yeah, yes. Uh, well, we, we are on course. Uh, definitely, nobody needs to tell you that uh, the NDC is on course. We have won the election. We won it since yesterday evening around 11, uh, 11 30 p.m. precisely. That was the time we got to know that we've won the election massively. And as we can see it on there, our dashboard there. I mean, just that, like our national chairman rightly stated, we don't want to take the shine from the electoral commission. We want them to do their job well. But I can assure you, they are necessarily de delaying the process and it's bringing anxiety. How, why do you make such, such a claim? Yes, you gave us pink sheets. The officers gave us the pink sheets. We collated from the pink sheets. So why are they keeping this? That's the question. The officers gave us the pink sheet. I was in charge of Western and Central region. And by the time 11 30, we had gotten almost three quarters of our pink sheets. But they were still keeping this. Why? All these problems where they had, they had issues uh, with the pink sheets and all that. Why are the presiding officers keeping them? Why the, the return officer delaying everybody? What, what is their point? So they should come clean. And we are saying that, look, the people they wanted to protect, they have lost the election. They, I have been telling you people, the media, time and again that this is a very crooked electoral commission. Their interest was to make sure that they rigged the election for the MPP. No, but... uh, do, do you have anything to substantiate some of these? Um, claims that you make on national television that it is a crooked electoral commission. W what do you have to support such a claim? Please, when we did the registration, they were chaining out wrong figures. Wrong figures. People will go and register 1,200. They will go and the following day, they will go and announce 3,000. What, what was the motive of that? When they brought up the provisional register and padded it with about 243,000, and they were involved in illegal transfer of votes. What was the intention of that? Were they not preparing the ground to rig the election for Baumia and Co? No, but fast forward, uh, Rashid. Fast forward, we know that the NDC has won. Dr. Baumia, who was your main contender, has already conceded defeat to John...
Nimahama, you are making a call today that the Peace Council must intervene, urge the EC to expedite action on the declaration of the result. Don't you think the due process must be followed? What is the due process? The due process is the pink sheets. We've, we've counted the results at the polling station. You announced the results at the polling station. You gave us copies of it. That is the resource. That is the primary resource. I've been telling now, electoral system is a manual process. So, so long I've gotten my that shows that this is the resource of that polling station. You, who is supposed to be added? They have a problem with arithmetic. This commission, that's their problem. You saw their ballot statistics. That ended them recalling some ballots, and they have to do shortages. Do you know, even yesterday, there were shortages of some areas. They had to patch up with their excesses. They have a problem with arithmetic. I'm not surprised they are still holding the pensions. That's their problem. But thankfully, NDC, we have gone high north, and we can add results with a slick of, of light. And that's why we have money to add this. We have all the figures on our teeth, as I said here. As a deputy director of elections, I can tell you that these people, long since, we knew we were going to beat them. And I told them we are beating them over 54%. It has come to pass. They thought we were joking. What is a useless government? And they were just protecting them. This electoral commission, crooked electoral commission, has always been rigging the election for them. Rashid, so, so right now, uh, maybe just to be wrapping up on this conversation, what is the way forward? I mean, the, your national chairman makes a case and makes it strongly that, for instance, should the youth be agitated due to the prolonged delay of the declaration, he cannot say much, and it is now that the Peace Council must intervene to ensure that the right thing is done. What is the way forward after here? Should there be any further delay? What to ensure that the right thing is done? They must come clean. The returning officers must come clean. You need not to have all the 276 constituency results to declare a president. The normal practice is. But we need records. We need records. I'm saying that the record can continue. When they declared Nanado in 2020, Techima Saf was not included. Didn't they declare it? The massive defeat they have received, even if they add some of the constituencies to them, they will still not come. The people, are, I told them, they won't get 40%. They have managed to get 41%. This thing, they are presidential candidate. I said it, and our team, they have managed to get 41 If they add all, they are still holding. And get he will even come to 45 They will still lose. So why are you holding the country to ransom? They should come clean, announce the results, what you have. Announce it. We can take time and look at it. Because in any case, when you add them, they will still lose. They are not going to win. The people have considered defeat. Why are you still holding the whole country? And anxiety is going on. But in any case, we have won the election. Because the Electoral Commission gave us the pink sheets. Primary source from the polling stations. All right. We have gathered all of them. Mm. And to add you, this distraction going on, the ballot boxes distraction, it has no business in the collation of the results. Per our electoral rules. Mm. If you have your pink sheet, they can go burn all the ballot boxes. You only need the pink sheets. If you are not getting yours, you get the, 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 the political party's agents. If they are able to bring theirs and you authenticate it and believe that, yes, this is our document, you add them together. We have done that severally. In, two, in 2000 and in 2004, we did that to, to collect for Tolong. They burn all the ballot boxes. We managed to retrieve pink sheets. We collected the results in Tamale using the pink sheet without the ballot boxes. So if people are destroying ballot boxes, that doesn't mean you can't collect results. They should stop that kind of thing. As if this is the first time we are doing elections. Thank you. And Thank you so much. So that has been Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer. He is the Deputy Director of Elections and IT for the NDC. The is one that the Peace Council, other stakeholders involved in this, in this electoral process must urge the Electoral Commission to declare the final result as soon as possible. Also because Dr. Baumia has already considered to defeat, they don't want the kind of anxiety they say the sea to continue to result in any, uh, I mean, unfortunate event when the youth would 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 end up hitting the street to request for or demand the same action to be done. Uh, so just a while ago, and, and as you saw, the NDC addressed a press conference which was addressed by the national chairman Johnson S. Kentia, and it is out of that that we have this brief conversation with uh, Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer. Back to you in studios, and we know that that's certainly that conversation is going to continue, and we know that. But that's too certainly settle. All right. Well, thank you so much, Christian Yali. And um, we'll, I'm sure that at the right time, of course, when the EC is ready, they will let us know exactly what the results are. But.
Fair point, uh, um, you know, Doc. And, and I have a new guest in the studio, by the way. Maybe I should go ahead and just quickly announce his presence before I move on. So I have Wanda Victor Kuto. And he's a legal practitioner and National Executive Committee member of the NDC. One time president of what, the Ghana School of Law. School of Law. Yeah, yeah. Right? Good to have you in the studio. Thank you. And should I say congratulations, or maybe I should wait for the oh, EC to announce? <laughs> I see you're in white already, so you're already jubilating? It's in order. It's in order. It's in order. Well, congratulations Thank then. You. Thank you. You have worked you. hard. How yeah. do you feel? Oh, I mean, we are happy, mm. but we also know of the work ahead. Mm. You know, if you look at the mess that these guys have created, we know of the work ahead. But we are not discouraged because we have a trustworthy leader in President John Dramani Mahama. Mm. Yeah. And you believe that he's going to deliver. There are concerns Absolutely. that he has only four years. And so even with regards to the 24-hour economy, mm -hmm. you remember that in his BBC mm -hmm. interview, he was asked mm -hmm. about it, that mm -hmm. has he put a figure to it? And again, he has only four years. How is he going to ensure that this is a successful policy before the end of his term? Yeah, first and foremost, anybody who wants to be president or who had uh, contested presidents in Ghana, constitutionally, could have only four years. I mean, let's just have this in mind. Mm. So any policy or direction that any political party is having is geared towards the four years. With an opportunity to go another four years exactly. if he voted for. In exactly. his case, he's already done four years already. So this would be his final term. Yes, and governance is a going concern. Mm. The party will not collapse after four years. You can see the massive victory across the country. Mm. It tells you the support that the party has across the country. Mm. And... I can assure you that our manifesto who, from January 7th becomes the working document for the republic. Okay. Will be implemented. All right. Not just the 24-hour economy. The National Women's Bank. Hold on. Those bed tax. All those all right. stuff will be... I'll let you hold yeah. on on that. But we're going to the media uh, center, the Ghana Police Service. They're also addressing uh, the media at the moment. Let's listen. <laughs> Any uh, uh, near my cabbage, be on my cost, dear to trust and be brave, or oh, my no, a fan now, baby. Now, a beomun so a yes to feeding project, baby or moon, and in the goo, our tamalino, Southway, so a cottage, so a whole, and my own poem, we are in me, and then I get a share in a school for no ebi. Now, Sabri, I have was before, and Saka video. and that's an address from the Ghana Police Service uh, giving us an update on the Damongo um, situation where earlier we reported that some fire had been set up in the regional office of the EC, especially because uh, supporters just wanted the EC to go ahead and declare the results in favor of their parliamentary candidate. But let's go to uh, Beatrice at this point. There's some updates also from Dom Kwabinya. Beatrice. Indeed, and Godwin Asiriba is bringing us that update. You recall that we brought you the information about some confusion in that constituency. Uh, we are learning that an official of the Electoral Commission has collapsed and supporters of political parties are preventing her from being taken to the hospital. Uh, Godwin Asiriba joins us live from there now. Godwin, just tell us what the situation is like currently. Godwin, we can Hello, see... Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you clearly. Please tell us the latest. Has she been able... Uh, have they been able to take her to the hospital? We understand okay. that Abusna. she collapsed. Aha, uh ena, ye de mobesi. Dok, eye, esi dun ketia, ena, ye tiye. Nisi si ano, 
NDC for I am ready. And Kabano Crampono and Kaja Mensa ever born in Tema and KBA John Dramani Mahaman. So, Kabay this time, Ghana for GDR on Woe Nimuno, Kabay this time, and Kawasha see easy hospitals, maybe ne Adia. There was near Ghana for any age, Ghana for any age, so Omoto Aba, Eddie Ama John Dramani, John Dramani Mahama, or my ready for change. You better must say, Samoje Penny, Cocotis are old, Eddie Maya, aha. APOG Media so better